Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and in today's video we're looking at a stunning piece of hardware for you Airbus lovers. Now previously on the channel we've reviewed several different FCU units, we've had the Mini FCU and we've also had the Windwing FCU as well. Both those videos can be found on the channel if you want to check them out. However in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the full unit, the Wingflex FCU and also EFIS, both for the Captain side and the first officer's side. Now full disclosure before we go any further in the video, Wingflex have sent me this unit to use during our live streams, see if I like it and obviously create this video review of the unit as well. However I do need to return this unit, they've not sent it for me to keep so this will be a completely unbiased review and it's not a paid for advert. The unit's target audience is that of the Sirius Airbus flight simmer. It is a one-to-one -one scale replica, meaning it is full size, so obviously it is rather large depending on the kind of setup you have for your flight sim studio. If you've only got a little bit of space, then things like the Mini FCU would potentially be better for you. However, if you are looking to try and construct a full home cockpit setup, then this unit really does tick all the boxes. That said, of course, with the quality that it comes with, it is not cheap. So I'm expecting great things from this unit as the full retail cost of this is close to 900 US dollars. However, if you are interested, then please do stick with us until the end of the video as we have managed to get a special EasyJet SimPilot discount code for you. Now the build quality feels extremely good. It is a very well built and sturdy unit, not overly heavy, but certainly not flimsy. Sitting on your desk, it will work fine without having to be screwed down or anything like that. It comes fully assembled, there is absolutely no assembly required, the unit is complete out the box as you have just seen. You can see as I run my fingers over the, uh, the various etchings as well, you can feel all of those so it's done incredibly well. All of the buttons are made of solid plastic, the rotary dials again feel nice and solid and as I'm just flicking through these you'll also see the detail that's gone into them, they look exactly like the real ones found in the real aircraft so they've clearly done a good job there. I really liked the autopilot and auto thrust buttons, they're spring loaded actions again like the real thing. And the ADF and VOR toggle switches are again created like the real thing in that you have to actually actually pull them out towards you and flick them left or right. You can't just flick them without that initial pull. And this is just like the real aircraft to prevent accidentally flicking them by mistake. All in all, the unit looks very impressive. So it's gonna be fun to try this out over the next few weeks in my live streams and have a look at it here in this video. In terms of the dimensions as well, it is not very deep, meaning it will fit perfectly on my desk. So here I am now back down in the office, let's have a look at the setup for this. So it requires only one USB cable, there's no HDMI or anything like that, a simple USB connection into the back and once you plug that in and run the software that you download from the Wingflex website then the unit comes alive. The software is perfect for somebody like me, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically identify the platform and the aircraft that you're flying. As you can see, the numbers as well, fully illuminated and backlit, as are all of the integrated lighting, which you can control from the aircraft in your simulator to get the right amount of backlighting illumination. I must admit, when I saw this for the first time, I did think it looks incredibly realistic. Very neatly done, not too much bleed through either, and as you can see, this is me just sat inside the simulator controlling the lighting levels with the dials in my sim. So yeah, a very nice first impression. So with the software running, launching Microsoft Flight Simulator, it instantly recognizes your platform. And then when you load an aircraft that the unit works with, we'll go through the full list in a few minutes, then you can see down there the bottom right, it identifies that aircraft and that is it. There is nothing you need to do other than run the software, plug the USB cable into the back and that is the setup complete. It is truly a plug and play unit. Now with the Phoenix A320, it works seamlessly. Everything as you can see on screen is as exactly as it is in the simulator translated to the hardware unit. 
Now, obviously for the price, you would expect the unit to work seamlessly. And of course, that is exactly what it does. Every button on the EFIS, every dial, every button on the FCU, etc., all of those work exactly as you would expect. I like the fact, of course, that we've got the EFIS with this because arguably you probably use this more than you do the actual FCU unit, or at least I do as I'm flicking through different scenarios, reading through the maps, looking at the airports, etc all of that so really nice to have and as you can see each of them responding accordingly as I press them now at the time of filming this video I've had this unit in my possession for the last couple of weeks or so so all of the live streams I've been doing for the last two or three weeks have had this unit implemented whilst I've been flying and those busy times on the VATSIM network when you don't want to be panning around with the camera you just want to be able to look down quick clear displays working some things out potentially just looking at the TCAS track mileage all that kind of stuff it's so simple when you've got that tactile hardware feel remember of course this is a one-to-one -one sized replica as well so it's really nice just to kind of get that little closer to the real aircraft feel at home. What I will say, however, and this is probably the only negative that I can uh, come across, is that the rotary dials for the FCU, the altitude, the heading bug and the speed, do not feel as resistant as the real FCU unit. So I was in an A320 cockpit the other day and I knew I was going to be filming this video so I was just playing around with the FCU and when you're turning the FCU dials etc they are quite not stiff but you certainly feel the resistance so you're not going to knock them by mistake and there's also quite a decent clicking sound with the real FCU. This doesn't have that. They do move a little bit freer than the real thing and you don't get that clicking sound either. A minor detail, but when you consider how expensive this unit is, it's probably something you would expect them to get right, as some of their other cheaper competitors have done. Now, as we've seen, it works seamlessly with the Phoenix A320, but it too also works with the Fly-by-Wire A32NX. Interestingly, though, there is a slight issue sometimes with custom liveries, which can affect the unit not recognizing the aircraft being the Fly-by-Wire aircraft. And this is usually due to the livery creator customizing the title of the aircraft. It must be the same as the default livery. Of course, that is just a CFG edit, which can easily be made. However, the Wing Flex team are working on a workaround and update for their software so that this will no longer be an issue. For the main part though, I didn't have any problems either with the Phoenix aircraft or with the fly-by-wire aircraft and both of them worked, as you can see, exactly as they should. So let's have a look at other aircraft that you would be able to use this unit with. Now it's fair to say, of course, that this is an Airbus FCU and EFIS unit, so at the moment it will not, of course, be usable by Boeing pilots. As the Headwind A330-900neo uses the fly-by-wire technology behind it, then yes, this unit is fully compatible with the Headwind's A330. Now here is where the interesting part comes, because obviously the A330 uses the same FCU and EFIS unit as the A320, but you can also use this unit with some of the earlier Airbus editions in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you can use the unit straight out of the box with the Inabuilds A300. However, at the moment there is a small caveat to that, in that none of the displays actually work on the external hardware. So you'll be able to turn the dials and see it all being respected in your simulator, but you will have no displays on the external FCU unit. So here you can just see how that works, a lot like if you recall when the Mini FCU was originally released, and this is the same way it worked with the Phoenix aircraft. Obviously, that has all changed now, and I'm certain that the developers will too also be looking to make sure that this is indeed fully compatible in the future. Because if we jump to the Inabuilds A310, 
you can see that not only does the software recognize the aircraft, but this actually does work with full external displays on the external hardware all working correctly. So the unit works perfectly out of the box with the Phoenix A320, the Flyby A32NX, the Innovils A310. It works with the Innovils A300, albeit with no external displays. However, the unit does not at the moment work with the Innovils A320 or the A320 version 2 in my Microsoft Flight Simulator and also I could not get this unit to recognize or work with any of the Latin VFR A320 families. That too also includes with the Horizon mod which is strangely enough based on the fly-by-wire software. Now I am certain that in the future this unit will become compatible with a whole range of different aircraft, either utilizing the official software or other things like Spadnex and Mobi Flight. But now, after seeing the unit, I would love to know what you guys actually think about this. That cost, the price tag, of course, is not really something we can gloss over or get away from. $900 is the retail price of this unit. However, we do have a special offer that we managed to negotiate with the Wingflex team, and that is if you use the discount code EasyJetFansFCU at checkout, then you will save yourself $75. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this unit now you've seen it in use in the video as well. Is it the right kind of hardware for you? I'm guessing if you fly different kind of aircraft which aren't Airbus then probably not. However, if like me you are very Airbus orientated in uh, what you do then I could see it being a hugely beneficial addition to your home cockpit setup. I have thoroughly enjoyed using this unit over the last couple of weeks and I can't really have any complaints about it. I think it is stunningly built, very well made, so easy to use and even easier to install. Do I think I could justify the $900 price tag? The jury is still out on that one. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this review video. If you have then please don't forget to leave a like and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and of course our live stream flights. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.